Hey there everyone, uh, for the review I wanted to go over the, the exercise that you're working on in class because I kind of felt that we were rushed and I really didn't have as much time uh, as I had hoped to go over the solution. I just barely did. Okay, so uh, to begin with in, in the problem I did change it slightly to conform with um, uh, the, their directions a little more. I realize that it is possible to do the simplify method without uh, having um, a parameter. So I did that, that in this solution. Okay, so inches and feet are the only instance variables. All right, so public int, inch, private int inches, private int feet. Remember, instance variables always should be private, never, ever, ever public. All right, and then after that, there were two constructors. So uh, one of them, the one that only had one parameter is um, uh, where you had to compute the feet. Oops, sorry, there goes my cat. Um, and compute the inches. So if they provide you with uh, 50, uh, 61, 61 is five feet one. So, uh, so what you do, and remember the constructors always initialize the instance variables. So even if you're not sure what to put uh, after the equal sign, uh, like in this case, it might have been a little trickier than average, than usual, uh, you know that you're going to initialize assign values to the instance variables. So remember, you're assigning values to variables that already exist. So do not make the mistake of declaring them again. Okay, they are already declared uh, right here. You do not say int feet equals inches divided by 12, inches equals inches mod 12. You just say feet equals inches, the name of the parameter divided by 12. Uh, and then inches equals the name, the total number of inches mod 12. Okay, so that's all um, you need to do in that one. Then um, for the second constructor, I did change it back so that you can assume that you can't assume that inches is less than 12. Uh, they could enter four foot 13 inches. Uh, but after that, it would uh, uh, make it five foot one uh, on its own. So and so first of all, um, this one has two parameters, one for foot and feet and one for inches. So my parameter names, similar, slightly different than the instance variable names. Uh, and though the parameter values get assigned to the instance variables when this constructor runs. Okay, so now after uh, the first two assignment statements, it needs to make it make sure that inches is under 12 and feet is um, um, of not well feet is updated accordingly okay so it calls the simplify method which I'll get to in just a second so then um, you have getter and uh, two getter methods one for feet and one for inches um, and Basically, they have to return the va they return the instance variable, and their return type has to be the data type of the instance variable whose value they're returning. So, feed is int. That means it has to uh, supply an int or return an int value. Now, setter methods, on the other hand, are void methods. So, if there was a setter method for uh, feet, I would say public void set feet. Okay, and setter methods will have at least one parameter. Typically, it is one parameter. And the data type of the parameter has to be the same as the instance variable whose value it is modifying. So I would say int uh, feet. And I'm going to call it new feet. And you know what? Uh, let me just say uh, value for feet instead. I don't want to make my variable start with new because that's kind of confusing. Even if I didn't have a space, uh, I, I want to kind of steer clear of that. So I'm going to say value for feet, and then I would say 
uh, feet, the variable name, the instance variable that is, equals value for feet. Okay, so over in the main method, I can pass a, uh, you know, make a new value for foot and pass it in by calling the setter method for a specific height object. Okay, so over here in height, where I actually created my height and your height, I could say my height, you know, dot set feet, you know, uh, if I want to be, let's say I want it to be 100 feet tall, 100. Okay, that would set <laughs> the foot, the instance value assigned to the instance variables, it would set it to be uh, uh that value okay and the other um, the other thing I wanted to address is uh, a static variable and then maybe just um, so let's make a static variable um, up in our height class it wasn't in the problem but let me make one uh, anyways so let's see private static um, uh, int how many heights uh, how many heights I am measuring okay so uh, this is the classic right it's keeping track of uh, how many measure uh, how many heights it has measured so far so we would assign it a value of zero and then uh, we would um, uh, every time I create a new height, well, you know what? Let's do, let's do instead of how many heights, let's do something like this. How many heights over five, uh, six feet? Okay, so let's say I was just as we went along and made them, I wanted to count how many people, how many people were over six feet tall or six feet or taller. Uh, then I would have a statement in my constructor in the first one that would be like if feet greater than equal to six then how many heights over six feet plus plus how many heights over six feet plus plus which I guess in our class well I don't know. Okay, so how many heights over six feet uh, would go up there? And then I could also do it down here in uh, the other constructor. Uh, so let me do Control C and Control V. Oh, no, didn't work. Let's do Control C and Control V. Okay, so. Um, if I print out then, um, if I then made a getter method for uh, the the uh, getter var the variable, how many heights over six feet? I could say, okay, public. Uh, let's see, it's an int uh, get heights over six feet, and then I would just do return. Uh, how many heights over six feet? Yeah, how many heights over six feet? Uh, let me say how many heights over six feet. So I would just say return how many heights uh, over six feet. Okay, so now over in the class with the main method, I could do uh, one of two things if I I made in this class I made three object three height objects one is called um, my height one is called your height oh let me make one be over six feet so 72 is six feet exactly um, and then uh, combined together we should be over uh, over six feet uh, actually, you know what? No, it's just going to count. Um, oh, I'm going to change something in simplify. Uh, so simplify updates the very the values so that, and I'm just going to do it real fast. 
uh, so that the new value that it creates is it counts it as being over six feet if it hmm you know what let's just count them as we create them okay I'm not gonna make it overly complicated um, okay so I have two two heights my height and uh, uh oh actually no here we go height combine equals new height my height plus get dot get feet my height dot get inches so i have three two out of three are going to end up being over six feet so um uh, yeah okay uh my height dot get feet is going to be six so two out of three so when i uh if i print them out Okay, I can print this value three different ways, actually four different ways, uh, because I have three different objects. So I can say uh, my height dot get feet, get how many uh, heights over, over six feet. Uh, I could also do um your height dot get how many heights over six feet i could do combined dot get how many heights over six feet or the last thing that i could do is just give the name of the class height dot get how uh many heights over six feet oh and i forgot to make that a static method so if you want to do uh well uh, and let's see, what is it telling me? I think I may need to make it static. Um, yes. Okay. Um, so, okay. So I am in a class with, uh, yeah, here. Let's go over here and let me make it static. A static method so if I just wanted to call get how many heights over six feet from um, uh, within any method except in the class with the main method or except in any static class I would be fine but because static um, uh, uh, you're not allowed to call non-static methods from static classes and main is a static class so that would mean the only way I can call get heights over six feet is if uh, uh, get how many heights over six feet is also static okay so let me see let me try running it um, okay so two out of three uh, if I also so if I go back to main and I do give the name of the variables instead of the name of the class for this static method, um, I can do, uh, since it's referencing a static variable, I can supply the name of the class or a name of any object of that class. Uh, so let's see, no, not your height, name, your height. Okay, and then I could also print out, uh, uh, and I think it's probably telling me that I can just put the name of the class, not the name of an object, and let's see what it tells me. Yes, uh, so um, either way, I should get 222, two, two. I do. Okay, because all objects of that class share the same value because they are stat. It's a static variable. Okay, so um, that was my little uh, side uh, trip into static variables. I realize this problem that we did in class didn't have a static variable or a static method, so I just threw that in for good measure. Okay, so then uh, those are the getter methods. Uh, so. Uh, uh, then there's a setter one or I put in a setter one I guess um, okay so then the simplify so the simplify method is called when you already have values assigned to the instance variables feet 
and inches. And it's a void method. It doesn't return anything. It just modifies uh, the feet and the uh, inches uh, instance variable. So right here. Okay, so it's a it's intended to be a helper method that uh, when you update the value of the feet, uh, it calls uh, it it checks to see if um, one of them is greater than 12. And let's see, and it doesn't actually have to be. It also work if you can put if inches greater than 12, but you don't have to because it'll still come up with the right answer even if the the uh, height and feet are already in the right format, meaning an inches value that's less than 12. Okay, so, um, all right, so here's the way it works. So it says, okay, feet equals feet plus inches divided by 12. So if they have an excess of inches beyond 12, okay, it's going to, so if it's like they are five feet, uh, you know, 25 inches tall, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to make feet be 5 plus, so 25 divided by 12 is 2. So it's going to add the 2 feet of that 25 inches into feet, and then inches equals inches mod 12. So uh, inches mod 12, in that case, for 25 is going to be 1. There's 1 left over, right? So that means 5 feet and 25 inches is going to go to 7 feet and 1 inch. Okay, which is what you want. Okay, if it's already the same, uh, if it's already in the right format, then inches divided by 12 is going to end up being zero. So it's not going to add anything to uh, feet, which is what you want. Okay, and then inches uh, equals inches mod 12. Uh, well, if it's less than 12, inches equals inches mod 12 is going to do nothing. So, and that's what you want. Okay, so that's simplify, and then um, then there was add. So adding, you were adding inches to their height. So basically, it was increasing inches by whatever parameter. So this is also a void method, um, and it has one parameter that is going to be essentially a setter method for inches. Now the only difference between this and just a generic setter method is that after instead of overwriting inches with whatever value this is, which would be a traditional setter method, it's adding to inches. Okay, so now after you add to the inches of the height, you have to run simplify to get it in the correct format again. So uh, if it isn't, so if you add five inches to eight inches, you get 13 inches. Well, you need to subtract out one foot from there and you know increase foot by one and uh, put the new value in inches so that's that's what uh, why simplify is called and then finally uh, so here is adding two heights to get well it's actually adding another height to this height so you need another height parameter um, and then what um, the way it works is you say, okay, feet, that would be referencing this object uh, whose class we're in, equals feet plus ht.getfeet. Now, I could either call the getter method for feet or because both of these are height class uh, type objects, I could actually say height.feet um, generally and just reference the variable that way. Generally, it's a better idea to just be safe and call the getter method because it could be that this is a problem where this isn't a height, and if that's not, you would have to call a getter uh, a getter method for that object. So I just call the get inches, which accesses what the value of the inches is for that other object, which is named height. Um, so and adds it to this object's height. Uh, I could also say this dot feet equals feet plus uh, uh, this dot feet equals this dot feet, or I could just say this dot feet plus equals ht dot get feet, or I could say feet plus equals ht dot get feet. This dot feet equals this dot feet plus h dot get feet. Um, it, 
I don't need to use the this param or the this modifier because it's just assumed. If it doesn't exist, it assumes that this is talking about this very object. Okay, and then finally, uh, the two string method simply uh, returns what the feet and uh, what the inches are. Oh, and there's one more um, thing that I did forget that possibly could be on the test, and that's uh, chaining constructors. Okay, so to chain constructors, um, remember um, uh, uh, what I could do is, in this case, instead of saying feet equals feet, and this would be, I could, um, uh, I could change it so that I could call the constructor, uh, call the no args constructor, uh, and the way it would work here is I would say, and you know what, let me just comment out the two lines of code that are already there. I could say this, and then uh, I need to supply it a value. Well, the constructor was supplied with feet and inches, so it would be 12 times feet plus inches. So now that is uh, going to call the noarcs constructor. And uh, you know what? Then I wouldn't even need uh let's see no i would need that um i would still need the simplify method uh but what i wouldn't want in that case is i wouldn't want oh actually this would save me quite quite a bit of time um uh okay it could call the no look like that all right so it would ch this is chaining constructors the first line of code calls the no arcs constructor. So it takes the feet and inches, calls the no arcs constructor by computing the number of inches. Okay, well that is what goes up here and populates feet and inches with the correct values and then uh, counts if, if that um, object or that this object had uh, a feet value that was greater than six. Okay, and then finally, after that executes, then simplify is called. So uh, I guess you did save quite a few lines of code by chaining constructors in that case. But remember, if you chain constructors, uh, you can only do it once. You can only have one uh, this statement, and um, it has to be the first, very first line of the constructor. And what you supply um, as the argument is what uh, tells Java what constructor you want this line of uh, code to call. Okay, so now let's go over and just look at uh, the main method um, where I have, I put a few heights. So I made, let's see, I made people's heights uh, who are, let me say, his height, no. Uh, I'll make another. So I made two height objects. One's called my height. One's called your height. I made them. Um, oh, I made one of them using the one arg constructor. Oh, and I'm sorry. I was saying no arg constructor when I was just talking. I meant the one arg constructor. So if you go back and just to clarify um, for the constructors, uh, to correct myself. This one calls the one args constructor. There's actually no no args constructor for this class. There's just a one arg and two arguments. Okay, so looking uh, quickly, looking at the main method, um, I get um, uh, okay. I made one height, 72 inches, so that would be six feet tall. Uh, let me get rid of the setter method. Then I made another height, someone who's five five. Okay, so system out dot print line. I am my height dot two string tall. You are your height dot two string tall. So I think it should say I am six feet zero inches tall, and you are five feet five inches tall. Then I made another height object called combined, and I initialized it. I created a new object for it, and I gave it the same values as um, uh, m my heights feet and inches value, okay? So, by the way, if I just said 
height combined instead of what I have equals my height what that would be doing is um, and I would have to comment this out um, that would be creating an alias for that object so that now we would have two variable names pointing at the same object so if we changed one of them it would automatically change that there's only one object so if we reference that object by uh, one using one of the variable names it made modifications then we could also check and reference that object by the other one it will have the new value that was you know you know uh, at that point I could call methods by referencing either of the two alias names for the object okay but let me let me put it back to the way it was so I think it was so instead, I'm making a third object um, that whose height and values are the same as the ob the my height object, and then I'm calling the for my new object combined. I call the setter or the the void method add, and I add your height. Okay, so then when I do two string for that height, it should be six feet. Uh, let's see, 72 is 6 feet, and 5 is, uh, you know what, let's, let's make sure this is working, let's do 71. Uh, so 71 is 511, which is about my height, and let's see if it works. Okay, I'm 511, you're 5'5", five five. if I add your height to my height, I get 11 inch feet 5 four inches so that does work all right so this was a little bit longer than I thought but I did want to go into a lot of detail for any of you who are interested you can play it at one and a half or twice the speed even uh, in YouTube and that's why I'm putting it out there on YouTube for you